Hello, we're going to do our pre-trip inspection. We're going to enter the truck using three points of contact at all times. Two hands, one foot, or two feet, one hand. Once we get inside the truck, we will put on our seat belt. Our seat belt must be in good condition, not damaged, not cut, not ripped, and must latch and unlatch and latch properly. That means the latch is working properly. Next, we'll inspect our safety equipment. Our safety equipment, we must have three reflective triangles, must be in good condition, not damaged, not missing. Six spare fuses and a fire extinguisher rated ABC or BC10 must be fully charged, take up to date and safety pin in place, in good condition. Next we will perform our safe start. On our safe start, make sure our tractor parking brake and trailer emergency brakes are applied. Your left hand must be at all times on the steering wheel. Press the clutch. Shifter in neutral, turn the key, and press the button to start the engine. Release the clutch slowly. Now we're going to start off with our air brake test. We're going to start off with our tractor parking brake. We're going to press our foot brake fully. We're going to put the transmission into drive. We're going to release our trailer emergency brake. And we're going to release our foot brake fully. The truck should not move. We press the foot brake. The truck did not move with our tractor parking brake applied, which means it's working properly. We're going to apply our trailer emergency brake. Make sure tractor parking brake is applied. Put the transmission into neutral. And release the foot brake. Now we're going to test our trailer emergency brake. We're going to depress our foot brake. We're going to put the transmission into drive. We're going to release our tractor parking brake. And we're going to let go of our foot brake fully. Truck did not move with our trailer emergency brake applied. Depress the foot brake. Apply our tractor parking brake. Make sure our trailer emergency brake is applied. Put the transmission into neutral and release our foot brake. Now we're going to test our foot brake. We're going to apply our foot brake. We're going to put the transmission into drive. Release our tractor parking brake and trailer emergency brake. We're going to let our vehicle roll 10 to 15 feet. Release the foot brake. Once our vehicle rolls 10 to 15 feet, we will apply the foot brake while letting go of the steering wheel. Truck should not move to any side. If the truck moves to left or right, that means there might be a problem with our steering system, our braking system, tire pressure, suspension, or there's an uneven load. Now we're going to apply our tractor parking brake. Make sure the trailer emergency brakes apply. Put the transmission into neutral and release our foot brake. Now we're going to test our hand brake also called as Johnson's bar. We will apply our foot brake. We will put the transmission into drive. We will release our tractor parking brake, trailer emergency brake. We will apply our hand brake and hold it. Release the foot brake. Truck did not move, which means our trailer and trailer handbrake is working properly. Apply our foot brake, release our handbrake, apply our tractor parking brake, trailer emergency brake, put the transmission into neutral and release our foot brake. Now we are going to perform our engine off test. Before we perform our engine off test, 
we'll make sure our air pressure is at 100 to 120 psi. If it's not, we're going to press our accelerator to pump up the air. Take out the key, put it in your pocket, and ready to choke my wheels. Now we're going to get out to make our three points of contact and chalk our wheels. Get inside the vehicle with our three points of contact. Put on our seatbelt. Now we're going to start off with our early apply test. We'll put the key into the ignition. We'll apply our foot brake. Make sure our tractor parking brake, trailer emergency brakes are applied and put the key to the on position. Release our foot brake. Now we will release our tractor parking brake and trailer emergency brake. Wait for the air pressure to stabilize. There should be no more hissing sound and the needles should stop moving. After the air pressure has stabilized, we will apply our foot brake firmly for one minute. Tell the examiner, I will wait for one minute. I should not lose more than four PSI in a combination vehicle and three PSI in a street truck. After one minute, you may release the foot brake. I have not lost more than four PSI in my combination vehicle. Now I'm going to perform fan down one test. I will keep pumping on a foot brake until 60 psi. At 60 psi, a red light and a buzzer should turn on, which indicates a low air pressure warning device is working properly. Now I will perform our fan down 2 test. I will keep pumping on a foot brake until both knobs pop out. When both knobs pop out, that indicates that the mechanism responsible for applying the spring brakes is working properly. The trailer emergency brake should pop out at 45 to 20 psi, and tractor parking brake should pop out at 40 to 20 psi. The trailer emergency brake knob should pop out first to prevent a jackknife. Now I'm going to press the foot brake. Put the key to the off position, take it out, put it in my pocket, go outside, remove the chocks from the wheel, and I'm ready for my coupling. Now we will get out, three points of contact. And remove our chocks. Now we're ready for our coupling. This is our coupling section. We start off with our airlines. 
Well attached to the truck, not leaking, not damaged. Our blue line is our service line. Our red line is our emergency line. Electrical cable, green or black in color, must be in good condition, no cuts, no corrosion, and not damaged. Nothing inside the connector. Electrical connection, well attached to the truck, properly secured, seven pins inside, and no corrosion. Our tension screen, well attached to the truck, not damaged, in good condition, has the proper tension to hold the line, six to 12 inches, above the catwalk. Our trailer side. Our airlines will attach to the glad hands. Not leaking, not damaged. Our blue line is our service line. Our red line is our emergency line. Our glad hands will attach to the trailer. Rubber gasket must be soft and not leaking. Our electrical cable, green or black in color, must be in good condition, no cuts, no corrosion, and not damage. Nothing inside the connector. Electrical connection. Well attached to the trailer, with seven pins inside, and no corrosion. Proper clearance from the header board to the back of the tractor. Now we go underneath. Our platform. All both secured, not missing, properly attached to the frame and not damaged. Our mounting bolts, not missing, secured to the frame, not damaged. Air sliding mechanism, not missing, not damaged, no air leaks. Fifth wheel skid plate, no gap between the fifth wheel skid plate and the apron. Properly greased, no missing pieces, not damaged. Our release arm, safely locked and let secured. Sliding fifth wheel locking pins, must be all locked and secured. Proper clearance from the back of the tractor to the landing gear. Our locking jaws, secured around the kingpin. Not damaged. Our kingpin, now missing pieces, not damaged. Our gap, there should be no gap between the trivial skid plate and the apron. Our apron, no missing pieces, not damaged. That concludes our coupling section. All lights must be clean, working, not cracked, and not damaged. We're gonna start off with our clearance lights. Amber in color. Two lights each on upper corner. They specify the vehicle is 13 feet 6 inches high maximum. Our identification lights or ID lights. Amber in color, three lights in the middle. Specify that the vehicle is minimum 8 feet wide. Our headlights. Clear in color, two functions. Low beams range of 250 feet maximum and high beams range of 500 feet maximum. Our turn signals, amber in color, have three functions, left and right turn signal, four-way emergency flashers, and parking lights. Now we're going to go to our engine compartment. We're going to open up the hood. We're going to start off with our passenger side. Our washer fluid, properly filled, not leaking. Now we're gonna go to our power steering fluid reservoir. Remove the dipstick, clean it, reinsert it and pull out again and check the power steering fluid is above minimum. Our air compressor, properly secured, gear driven, not leaking and not damaged. Our engine oil dipstick. Remove the dipstick, clean it, reinsert it and pull out again to check if the oil level is above minimum. Our hoses, not damaged, secured properly and not leaking. Power steering pump, properly secured, gear driven, not leaking and not damaged. Our wires, 
not cut, not damaged, proper loaded, properly secured. Now we're gonna go to our driver's side. Our coolant must be at the proper level, do not open when the engine is hot. Our water pump, not leaking, not damaged, is belt driven. Our belt, no cuts, no frays, quarter inch of play, maximum. Our alternator, properly secured, is belt driven. Our wires, not cut, not damaged or corroded, properly secured. Our steering column shaft. No bent, no welds, not cracked, not damaged. Our U-joint. Lubricated, tight, in good condition, not damaged. Power steering gearbox. Not leaking, properly secured, and not damaged. Our hoses. Not cracked, not damaged, properly secured. Our three-piece steering linkage. Not missing parts. Pins and nuts not missing, properly secured and connected. Our frame, not cracked, welded or bent, not damaged. Our spring mounts and bushings, not damaged, properly secured to the frame, no missing pieces. Our leaf springs, good condition, not cracked, not missing, not broken or shifted. Our U-bulbs, properly secured to the axle, not missing and not damaged. Our hydraulic shock absorber, not leaking, not rusted through, mounted to the frame and axle. Now we're gonna go to our brakes. Our hoses, no air leaks secured to the chamber and not damaged. Our brake chamber, secured to the axle, no air leaks, not damaged. Our slack adjuster and push rod. Properly secured, one inch of play maximum, with brakes released, not damaged. Our S cam, good condition, no missing pieces, not damaged. Our S cam rollers, good condition, not missing pieces, working properly, not damaged. Our brake pads, minimum quarter inch of thickness, not damaged. Our brake drum, not cracked, no oil, no damage. Now we're gonna go to our front tires. Minimum thread depth of 430 seconds of an inch, same size, same kind, on the same axle. Air pressure 100 psi, no nails, no cracks or bulges. Recap tires are not allowed. Our rims, no cracks, no welds, no bends around the edges. Air valve, not leaking and kept not missing. Our lug nuts. All present and tight, check for fresh rust, which will indicate looseness. Our hub seal must be in good condition, no oil leaks of the inside of the drum. That concludes our format. Form B. We're gonna start off with doors and mirrors. Doors must open and close properly. Rubber seal must be in good condition, not damaged. Our mirrors must be in good condition, must be clean, not cracked, and properly adjusted for driving. Our side marker lights, two functions turn signals, four ways, and emergency flashers. Amber in color, not cracked, and working properly. Our fuel tank and cap. Our fuel tank must be secured to the frame with straps. Our cap must be closed and not leaking. Our catwalk and steps. Secure properly, no missing pieces, not damaged. Now we're gonna go to our exhaust system. This is our vertical stack, our muffler, and our exhaust pipe. Must be in good condition, not damaged and not leaking. No missing clamps or bolts. We're gonna go underneath. Our frame. No missing parts, no legal welds or cracks. Our drive shaft. Not bent or twisted. Turns properly, properly greased. No missing bolts, no welds. We're gonna go to our suspension. 
control arm. It's not damaged, not shifted, no missing parts. We're gonna go to the back. Our airbag mount. Not damaged, secure to the frame. Our airbags. Not damaged, mounted properly, no air leaks, not dry rotted. Our u bolts properly secured to the axle, no missing parts, not damaged. Our hydraulic shock absorber, not leaking, not rusted through, mounted to the frame and the axle. We're gonna go to our brakes. Our hoses, not damaged, no air leaks, secured to the brake chamber. Our brake chamber secured to the axle, no air leaks, not damaged. Our slack adjuster and push rod, properly secured, one inch of play, maximum, with the brakes released, not damaged. Our s cams good condition, not missing, not damaged. s cam rollers, good condition, not missing, working properly, not damaged. Our brake pads, minimum of quarter inch thickness, not damaged. Our brake drum, not cracked, no oil, no damage. We're gonna go to our rear tires. Minimum thread depth, 30 seconds of a lock. Same size, same kind, and the same axle. Air pressure must be 100 psi, no nails, cracks, or bulges. Recap tires are allowed, and nothing in between the dual tires must be separated either by spacer or rim. We're gonna go to our rims. Not cracked, no welds, no bends around the edges. Air valve. Not leaking and cap not missing. Our lug nuts. All present and tight. Check for fresh rust around the lug nuts which will indicate looseness. Our hub seal. Check the oil level, needs to be about 1 inch of 80W90 gear oil. No oil leaks and no oil leaks on the inside of the drum. Now we're gonna go to the vehicle rear. We're gonna start off with tail lights. Red in color, working properly, not damaged, have four functions. Left and right turn signal, brake lights, four-way flashers and parking lights. Our reverse light, white in color, mounted properly, not cracked, clean. Reflectors, clean, not missing, not damaged. Our mud flaps, properly secured, not missing pieces, not touching the tire. It must be four inches of the ground. That concludes our form B. Form C, we're gonna start off with the header board. Not damaged, no missing rivets or any pieces. Our clearance lights, amber in color, working properly, properly secured and indicate the vehicle is 13 feet and six inches high maximum. Our DOT reflective tape, not damaged, clean and must be red and white in color. Our rivets, they must be in good condition, no more than one out of four missing. Craft members, not damaged, not missing and not rusted through. Landing gear, fully raised, handle secured, no missing any pieces and must be secured to the frame. Our side marker lights. They have three functions, parking lights, turn signals, and four-way emergency flashers. Must be amber in color, not damaged, clean, and working properly. Our frame and tender release arm. Pins must be secure in holes. Release arm must be secured. No missing pieces and not damaged. We go to our suspension. Control arm, not broken, not shifted, no missing parts. Airbag mount, not damaged, secured to the frame. Our airbags, properly 
uh, secured, no air leaks and not dry rotted. Are you bolts? Not missing, properly secured to the axle. Hydraulic shock absorber. Not leaking, not rusted through, mounted to the frame and axle. Rear brakes. We go to our hoses. Not damaged, no air leaks, secured to the brake chamber. Our brake chamber. Secured to the axle, no air leaks or any damage. Our slack adjuster and push rod. Properly secured, one inch of play maximum with the brakes released. Our S cam. Good condition, not missing, not damaged. S cam rollers. Good condition, not missing, working properly, no damage. Our brake pad. Minimum quarter inch of thickness, not damaged. Our brake drum. No damage or crack and no oil. Our trailer tires. Minimum thread depth, 230 seconds of an inch. Same size, same kind on the same axle. Air pressure 100 PSI, no nails, no cracks or any bulges. Recap tires are allowed, nothing in between the dual tires. Must be separated by spacer or rim. Our rims. No cracks, no welds, no bends around the edges. Air valve, not leaking and cap, not missing. Our lug nuts, all present and tight. Check for fresh rust, which will indicate looseness. Our hub seal. Check the oil level. Must be about 1 inch, 80W90 gear oil. No oil leaks on the inside of the drum. Mud flaps. Properly secured, not missing, not touching the tire, and 4 inches off the ground. Our ABS light. Amber in color, once the engine starts, should turn on and stay on for 2-3 to three seconds, then turn off. All lights must be working clean and not damaged. We're gonna start off with our clearance lights. Must be red in color, two lights each on upper corner of the trailer. Specify the vehicle is maximum high. 13 feet 6 inches Identification lights ID lights Red in color, 3 in the middle Specify that the vehicle is minimum 8 feet wide Our tail lights Our inside lights are our brake lights Red in color have two functions Stop lights and running lights Outside lights they, Those are our turn signals Red in color have three functions, turn signals, four-way emergency flashers, and parking lights. Our door must be properly locked, latch working properly, no damage, no hinges missing. DOT ICC bar must be 18 inches of the ground, not damaged or rusted through, with the DOT reflective tape in good condition, red and white in color. That concludes our Form C.